Don't you fret about me. I can take care of myself. I hate you! Curse you, Dwan! How's it going, brother? You wanna hear about Gwent, you say? Well, then you've come to the right place. Today we learn something about them Harmony decks. As you may know guys, Mystic Echo ability has been the most successful leader's ability since the start of the season of the Viper. It's got the highest win rate on average pretty much all across the ranks, including pro rank, where the win rate is around 56%. That is around 3% more than the ability second on this list, which is Dead Eye Ambush. In case you're wondering, pertaining to Pro Rank, the third one is Ursine Ritual, with win rate around 51% on average. Needless to say, Scoyotel are ruling the current meta, with their abilities being the top two in almost all divisions, so I decided it's high time to make a Harmony deck. When it comes to Harmony decks, the most important thing is to not overdo it. I mean, there are 9 unique Scoyotel unit categories and it can be quite tempting to include all of them. However, that is usually not the case. While 7 of the categories, namely Elf, Dwarf, Dryad, Treant, Beast, Gnome and Human are quite often omnipresent in every Harmony deck with an occasional addition of the Machine category in the form of the only Scoyotel card with this description, the Dwarven Chariot. The last remaining category, the Dragon, is rarely present in any deck. Scoyotel have two affiliated Dragon cards, Sosentis and Saskia, and while I admit Saskia could in certain circumstances be an above average asset for an Harmony deck, she is just a lot more inconsistent version of Pavko Gale, so uh, I mean, I would love to add the last Dragon category into my Harmony deck, but it's just not favorable. Anyways, let's take a look at the deck we'll be using today. I've seen my fair share of Harmony decks in my time. The thing is, most of them are actually very similar. It might be the case that the current meta does not offer a lot of space for maneuverability. However, in a lot of those Harmony decks out there, some cards feel just like a filling. Like their only purpose is to take up some space and proc some Harmony, if possible. In this deck, in comparison to an ordinary Harmony deck, I added Dol Blathana Sentry and Dryad Matron combo, working also very well with Malina. They are one of the best second round baits. If you manage to win the first round, with this combo you can usually safely assume you're gonna get a card advantage later on. The strategy I follow while playing this deck is quite simple. I usually save both the Waters of Brokilon and their leader's ability for the third round, while Percival Schuttenbach becomes my carry in the first round. Of course, as you can see, I decided to drop Fowe, because more of the times she actually became a nuisance rather than a helping hand. By removing Fowe, obviously this deck became a little more draw dependent, as if you happen to not draw the Water of Brokilon card, you're kinda screwed. I might have been a little lucky in this case lately, so I drop Fowe. However, if you want to stay on the safe side here, add Fowe and drop one of the Hawker Smugglers or the Defender Figis Merluzzo or adjust the situation here and there for your needs. What I am presenting to you is the version that worked out the best for me. So, unless you happen to draw some very unfortunate group of cards, your chances of winning the first round are actually quite high. Going into the second round, Insta Pass is usually a waste of resources, because if you happen to have the aforementioned Dol Blatana Sentry 
plus Dryad Matron combo, you can without much effort send your opponent into the card disadvantage, of course, if circumstances are favorable. Third round is just double waters with as much harmony procs as you can pull off. Pafko Gale, while being shielded by the defender, can help you with some of your opponent's carries if that's necessary. Tree and Boar, also obviously, and you also have three poisons, Weeping Willow plus two Dryad Rangers. It's not the most reactive deck in the world, however, in most case scenarios you usually don't have to worry about your opponent's side of the board, you just have to watch your own units, beware of Igni and similar cards of mass destruction. With that being said, please let me know in the comments what are your opinions on this one. And uh, for now, let's get down to Rumble! And our opponent for today is Mobilization Northern Realms. Well, uh, can I expect like scenario maybe? Perfect, Water of Brokilon. The combo is here. Ah, uh, this is actually quite alright. Maybe it's even too good. Well. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't have redrawn the the Mahaka Marauder, but then again, whatever. Brothers, we charge on three. Let's go with Percival right away. Oh, I give my right hand for marinated herring. Caro Ballista. Alright, I can expect a lot of siege engines and likely also the siege card, the Northern Rails uh, scenario, but let's not jump to conclusions here. Should I go Malina right away now? Let's Malina is gonna be very good against him. So let's just save her until the latter stages of the game. Now I can expect he will go like... Holy god, okay. I think I can... Well, it's a shame I only drew one poison card. Uh, whatever, let's go with the shield. Well, like I said, my draw is a little too good for the first round, so... Uh, gonna be kind of hard to, you know, uh, keep in touch with him, really. What just happened? It was the bombardment, obviously. Six point bombardment with uh, two Carabalista. Okay, that was pretty quick. Should I go Pafko Gale here? No, let's let's just proc the Elf Harmony on a... Okay, on Percival. Okay, 
The waiting is the hardest part. Another bombardment. Well, he sure doesn't save those for like a, perhaps a little better opportunity. He, he seems to. Oh, he seems like his desire is to get out of the first round as quickly as possible. So I suppose let's just keep on going here. I may go Figis Merluzzo if uh, Pavko Gil survives. But he's gonna play another Boiling Girl. Well, he's playing so old school Northern Realm scenario. I haven't seen this deck in a while. But I don't mind. Let's keep on going. Was it so following Crummy and Nilfgaard? You know what, I'm gonna do what uh, he, I think, uh, does not expect and that is I'm gonna pass two because I actually have uh, most cards I need already in my hand and shortening this round, especially when he plays like uh, Northern Run scenario, could be quite alright. We've got the combo. Is there something like... I would like to have one Hawker Smuggler, but then again, I think this is quite alright. This is quite alright, and I'm gonna start right away with uh, Water of Brokilon. Uh, he doesn't have scenario in his hand yet, yes. probably. Now <laughs> he he drew it. Great. You see, you must hold between your teeth, right, sir? I just want to, you know, stay on the safe side here with uh, Igni or something. Here comes the siege. Huh. I feel like I should go Molina right away. I don't suppose he has like some uh, cards with the move order Falibor. It's kind of interesting because he will not proc his dead blow bonus. <laughs> and he got a little unlucky here, I have to admit. Yep, I don't see him winning this one, but then again, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe something unfortunate will come in my way, like, yeah, like a bargain, but we could have expected that. Now, Malina is out of the way, unfortunately. Got a hearty hankering for Gwent. Well, I forgot I had Dryad Matron on the melee or I should have put Maka more over there. He doesn't have any other bombardment. He already played uh, Triss and he played two of them.
Well, I should take care of one of those trebuchets, but still, let's prepare ground for. Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes, I'm on it. Uh, for the Great Oak. And now we are finally ahead. But oh my god, I again forgot I have the Dryad Matron. I'm so stupid. Three, four, five, all right. 18 points ahead. Is it gonna be enough? Well, I certainly hope so. Wait, was my... My, uh... Math betrayed me because I thought he already played... Yeah, that was the Triss Bombardment and he only played one from his hand, my bad. But then again, <laughs> like, like you see guys, I've made so many mistakes in this game. And we still managed to win. That's what, uh, what playing uh, Mystic Echo means at the moment. Just crazy, you know. Well, I feel like the last game was pretty short. I also made a lot of mistakes. So, let's do one more today. And uh, it's Orsine Rituals Kelly game. I respect nothing human. I honestly don't know about any any possible option for him or approach that he would have to take to beat us in this one. So uh, this is actually a very good draw. But yeah, let's go with this. Let's go, Percival. Give my right hand for Marinated. And let's go the Skirtle Neophyte right away because he can have like uh, you know standing blow gutting slash Giga Scorpion decoction and so on. Sigwald! I like that card very much. Even though it does not see a lot of play. It's kind of interesting because usually Orsin Ritual uh, plays the same cards on and on, so I would have expected like uh, Ceres Uncrate and uh, Gnickers and Roach and uh, you know the savage bears I'm kinda glad that he plays something a little different alright here comes the <laughs> stunning blow Hankering for Gwent. And I'm gonna play another Mahaka Marauder and I'll probably pass them. Fill our hearts with Red, Come on! Who's fast? Alright, bro. Champions charge. We are nine points ahead. You know, I would probably have an easier time deciding whether to pass here or not uh, if I would uh, like 
had uh, the had a, at least a slight idea of what he's gonna play, but you know, let's let's pass here. Bring them hell! Yeah, we probably did good. So with these cards, I don't see him playing Lepic at Monte all. Or is he? <laughs> it's quite alright. Let's keep those. Passed right away. And... Uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's sacrifice the Dryad Matron here. And we're going into the third round. Grove Keepers. Not bad, but... Uh, I would like to have a Water of Broccolon in my hand. Well, thank you. The waters of taste still upon my lips. Like I said, uh, I don't need Fove in my hand, in my deck, because um, for some reason I am quite unable to explain. I always seem to have, uh, I always seem to get uh, the water of Broccolon card one way or the other. So, um, of course, uh, this situation may change and I may add Fove later on, but for now I'm quite happy with things as they are. And the forest is me. I think uh, I might uh, sense a little hint of uh, cra what is what's his name? Drake Bondu, the Bard. Because uh, if he's like playing a lot of warriors, then it may uh, make sense. Whenever enemy unit moves. Let's go Pavko Gale first. Well, I guess it's gonna take some more passion. And Draco Turtle. He doesn't have enough charges for Wildcarl now, that's strange. I'm gonna prepare ground for Malina here with uh, Dol Blatana sentries. He got a little lucky here, I'd say, but whatever. You're good. You're good. We elves have our paths. Don't worry about me. I just completed a contract, deranged, not sure what, what it's about. We are 14 points ahead and we have one card less.
Or should I play Tree and Boar with the Call of the Forest? I'd say so. Or maybe we don't have a the beast or machine used as a harmony yet, so uh Honor and Glory Alright. Let's destroy this card. And let's destroy like uh, Hammond or something. All right. Mm. Four plus four and three and four. It really doesn't matter much. But I think maybe the trained hawk is the or the dwarven chariot. Let's broke harmony here, I, I'd say. Yeah. Three, six, seven, eight. Perfect for a uh, for a great oak. Burden, mother and crone. Three, six, seven. Yeah, it's time to destroy the Svalbard priest right away. But I really don't see him. Winning this, even with the wild, uh, what, what, it's, what it's called, wild boar of the sea. Yeah, I, I always uh, screw up that name, but I don't see him winning this game, even with Dagur high boar combo. Three, six. We are 26 points ahead. More Quark, obviously. And uh, feel any burning? See a local healer or wise woman. We are 44 points ahead. I don't think he can pull this off, but then again, he played some sort of uh, of a strange of meta deck here, which uh, and obviously he has my respect for it. Uh, but then again, two games, two wins today, boyos. Well. Came, saw and conquered, that's what playing this harmony deck feels like. I know that a lot of you my friends already have rich experiences with similar decks. Please do let me know in the comments what do you think about this one. Guys, thank you all very very much for watching. If you wanna see some more of these videos, please subscribe and uh, once again this is Orpheus and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye bye.